Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited because I have created my own horror movie marathon. This one's gonna be a Blumhouse marathon. I love all the horror movies that are produced by Blumhouse. I think they make such amazing movies. So this week, that's gonna be our marathon and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the lineup. All right guys, so here is my lineup. I got The Gallows, Incarnate, Dark Skies, The Perch Anarchy, The Lords of Salem, Ouija Origin of Evil, Insidious The Last Key, Oculus, Insidious Chapter 2, Insidious Chapter 3, Sinister, Halloween 2018, Happy Death Day, and Insidious. Alrighty guys, let's do this. The Gallows from 2015. I love that Blumhouse logo. Woo! All right, well, that was an okay movie, but, you know, it wasn't as scary as they make it out to seem like, you know, in the previews and all that. But it was a pretty good movie. Anyway, let's move right along to the next one. All right, you guys, the next one in the lineup is Incarnate from 2016. And this one is the unrated version. There goes that Blumhouse logo again. <laughs> I love it, you guys. For some reason, I just love the Blumhouse Productions logo. Like, it's so creepy, you know, and all the movies they produce are awesome. That's why I wanted to do this marathon. Now, that was a good movie about possession. That one you guys should definitely check out. All right, let's see which one's next in the lineup. All right, guys, Dark Skies from 2013. Once you've been chosen, you belong to them. This movie is really good. I like it because it keeps you at the edge of your seat. A little sad at the ending, but it's a really good horror movie. And it says a terrifying, mind-bending thriller. All right, let's do it. All right, so the next one is The Purge Anarchy. This one is from 2014. It says an American tradition. I love The Purge movies. I think my favorite one would be the first and the second out of all of them. I mean, they should have stopped at, at the first, at least at the second one. I don't know why they kept making any more. But anyway, they, they're really good movies. I mean, they are Blumhouse after all. But yeah, they shouldn't have made so many. <laughs> All right, guys, the next one in the lineup, Rob Zombies, The Lords of Salem. This one is from 2012. I love, love, love Rob Zombie. I like his movies. I love his music. I'm a huge Rob Zombie fan, and I love the fact that his wife is in all his videos and movies. That is so cool. That's what I call true commitment right there. <laughs> one not for everyone's taste but hey it's Rob Zombie after all anyway let's move right along to the next one in this Blumhouse Productions horror movie marathon all right next up is Ouija Origins of Evil from 2016 this one I actually used it in my 21st century horror marathon but it's okay it's also from Blumhouse and it's one of my favorite ones so let's do this yes I love how that looks I love it. I could stay in the menu <laughs> like all day. I don't know. I love it. I love how it looks. They did a really good uh, job with this menu. All right, guys. Next up, Insidious The Last Key from 2018. This one is actually one of my least favorite from the Insidious franchise. I do love uh, the other three, though. They're really scary. But this one is one of my least favorite. For some reason, I wasn't feeling this one too much. 
but it is part of the Blumhouse collection that I have, so we have to do it. Next up, you guys, Oculus from 2013. This is a really good movie also. I really like this one. So I thought this one was really cool because not only is it Blumhouse, but it's also a WWE production. <laughs> Insidious Chapter 2, 2013. I love this one. It will take what you love most. The most horrifying movie of the year. Creepy as hell. <laughs> I like this one. you guys next one up is insidious chapter 3 from 2015 the darkest chapter goes back to the beginning Ooh, let's do this And indeed, it was one of the most terrifying Insidious movies. By far, I think the third one is the scariest one of them all. Anyway, speaking of terrifying, let's move on to the next one. This next movie deeply disturbed me the first time that I ever saw it. And that movie is none other than Sinister from 2012. This one is from the producer of Paranormal Activity and Insidious. Once you see him, nothing can save you. An undeniably scary movie. Guys, this is beyond scary. This movie is disturbing. <laughs> Ho, 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 my copy of John Carpenter's Halloween 2018. Yes, some Michael Myers has to be in the mix. Heck yeah, you guys have no idea how happy I am that I got my copy. I'm a little bummed out because when I originally went to buy this movie, I wanted to get it on Steelbook, but it's only a Best Buy exclusive and they were all out of Steelbook, but I still got my copy, so I'm happy. Hands down the best Halloween sequel ever. I love that it was produced by John Carpenter again. And it's Blumhouse. Alright guys, so next in the lineup is Happy Death Day. This one is from 2017. I actually did a mukbang recently with this movie because somebody had requested it. <laughs> and this one is from the producer of Get Out, The Purge, and The Visit. So, ooh, bonus features. Let's do this one. All right, you guys, last but not least, Insidious from 2010. This was the first Insidious ever made. And it says, it's not the house that's haunted. From the makers of Paranormal Activity and director James Wan and writer Lee Wannell. I love James Wan. James Wan produced movies like The Conjuring and Annabelle, and I just love all these movies. So this one has special features and it says insidious has some of the most shivery and indelible images i've seen in any horror film in decades Ooh, look at that creepy picture right there the old hag <laughs> i love this movie all right well let's do this so right after this one we end this amazing blumhouse 
marathon.